So while we're talking about pop culture, I saw this article on CNBC. I'll try and put a link down below. There's a new hit podcast taking X and tech world by storm. It's called Google Deep Dive. It's taking on everything from the latest in science to classical literature. The only catch, the hosts aren't real. And the producer is you. This is all part of Google's new Notebook LM project. And Dear Jabosa has more in today's Tech Check. Hi, Dee. Morgan, I hope you're intrigued because instead of telling you about this new tool, I'm going to show it to you. Now, earlier in the show, I heard that you guys were talking about that JP Morgan iPhone survey. Here's another version of that in podcast form with two AI generated podcasters. Have a listen. Get this. We're diving deep into iPhone territory today, mm -hmm. but not just any iPhone chit chat. Right. We're talking about why people are really shelling out for those new Apple phones. Luckily, we've got some clues to work with. We've got this juicy J.P. Morgan survey. Yeah. Over 500 people oh. gave their insights on smartphones and buying decisions. That's a pretty good sample size, actually. Yeah, it gives us a good snapshot of what's really going on. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but this blew my mind. This is all AI generated, and it sounds pretty close. To on the one hand, you think mm, it's cl something's kind of off, but it's really close. I, I wonder sometimes for people who maybe don't have like a good uh, sense of hearing or maybe they've got bad instincts, like you could see how it would fool a, a good percentage of people, but it's close, right? And apparently you can join up with this Google platform where you can kind of feed, like in Weird Science, remember they like made that woman, Kelly LeBrock, um, and they just feed, they fed in like breast size and like height and like intel intellect and habits and likes and dislikes into this computer and they made this woman appear. And that's kind of what you can do with podcasts, I guess, was just pump in information you can even, this is according to the CNBC article, uh, you can even um, choose to have a celebrity voice if they've put it up for licensing. So you can pay the license and have a celebrity voice. I don't really know why we're doing this. Like, what's the benefit of this? Is the benefit to have, like, Dame Judi Dench and um, Ozzy Osbourne and Honey Boo Boo Child? have a podcast because you think it's going to be funny and you're writing scripts why don't you just write scripts for actors i don't understand like it's it's more work to have you know actors do it and you you'll, you'll have to pay them and everything so i guess that kind of answers my question but like in the long run what do we, are we trying why are we trying to make this so confusing for ourselves to distinguish between what's real and what's not like it's not it's 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 only as real as we want to make it right but the um, customer adoption of this is going to make it real. Do you know what I mean? Like the people who there's going to be enough people who want this to be part of our reality. So there's going to be almost no way to avoid it. It's kind of like if you have a child and you think, oh, I don't want my child having a phone till they're 18. Or you don't want them to have a chip in their brain 30 years from now okay, you can choose that, but then they're going to fall behind compared to the others because all the other parents are just going to go with it without even really, and I'm not going to say that they're bad parents for doing that. I don't, it depends on the context and the, the resource and the tool. But generally speaking, I think most people are just going to go for it because they're either dipshits or maybe they have some sort of a weird drive or they're not paying attention or they're good people who just missed something uh, for anything, whether it's, you know, health, medical or, or you know, AI stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be a really confusing world and it's going to get in our faces a lot quicker than I think it is. There's some really interesting interviews with Yuval uh, Noah Hari. I'm not, I know I'm not saying that right, but he wrote Sapiens, the book Sapiens. And he thinks we're on the verge of basically destroying ourselves. Now, I don't know if I agree with that because we can shut this off anytime we want. I think, personally, but you can't, like, like one of the arguments for people who are, are going for AGI um, or chat GPT or any of these things, their defense is like, well, we can just shut the internet off. Well, no, you can't. 
because it's tied to everything now. It's tied to banking. It's tied to Wall Street. It's tied to countries and currency exchanges. And like you, you, you can't just shut it off now. It would be chaos for a while. Um, maybe that's not a bad thing. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's a bad thing if things kind of went south for a while and we all had to like go back to not living like cave people? That's stupid, right? This is this is a great time to be alive, but. Are we going to swim too far out is the question.